Paddington. So Paddington is the story of a talking bear family. It was originally a children's book written by Michael Bond back in 1958 called Paddington Bear, and now they've made a live-action movie out of it. The movie features a talking bear named Paddington, posthumously, who lives in deepest, darkest Peru, as they say. Um, he eventually leaves Peru and goes to London to go find an explorer who once visited his aunt and uncle in the woods back in the day. And then he gets to London and he finds out it's not quite like what the explorer told him, so he has to find the family or find somewhere to live. And who does he end up with? He ends up with the Browns, who is nice, well, mostly nice family, although the dad is kind of a prick. Also in the movie, you have Nicole Kimmel, who plays the bad guy or something like that. She's a taxidermist who collects animals. How did I feel about the movie? Honestly, it was just a really adorable, cute children's movie. Well, it's actually a family movie. It's rated PG, but it's just a really cute movie. I mean, there's a bunch of humor. There's a bunch of humor. Not inappropriate humor, either. It's just actually good, clean, funny humor. And not like stuff I would go like, ha, ha, ha. I mean, things like, I legitimately laughed at that. The plot is actually pretty straightforward, too. He's just looking for a family, or an explorer, and he ends up finding a family who kind of wants to take him in a little bit, mostly. It has that really innocent tone to it, like nothing bad can happen, like it's not going to be too dark or too scary or whatever. It's just a really good family film. Even sprinkled out throughout the film, there's a whole bunch of other movie references in there. Um, you'll definitely know them when you see them. And it's quite hilarious when you actually do see them. You're like, ha ha ha, I remember that from that movie. He stuck that in there. That's cute. I may be taking this back a little bit, but the first thing I thought of when I got halfway through this movie was this reminded me of the original Beethoven movie. You know Beethoven movie, the one with the giant St. Bernard dog and the family adopts him and everyone likes him except the father who kind of not that big on dogs but just puts up with it just for the sake of it? That's pretty much what I thought about it. it I compared it to that and I was like, hmm, it, it sounds a lot like it. But the thing is though, this is just as cute, just as adorable, just as friendly, just as warm, loving, and all of that. In the end, Paddington was funny, it was clean, it was very cool. So I enjoyed it. It was very heartfelt. It was warm. It was emotional. It didn't overdo things. It even had a couple running gags throughout the movie, which it didn't constantly throw in your face, like, oh my god, here's that. Then there's that. Then there's also that. They're not in your face like every five minutes. They're actually spaced out just often enough so that, ha, ah, I remember that. Overall, for this reason alone, I will say Paddington gets a gold ribbon from me. So, Paddington, have you seen it? What did you think? Do you like it? Did you dislike it? Do you even remember it when it was the book? Whatever you think, comment below. Tell me how you feel. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to check out my Twitter at Asteroid Mike. Don't forget to check out my blog. And as always, I will see you around in the next video.